Good morning and welcome to London. Well, the noise over there, so you can see it or not, but yes, this is one week of marathon training. Okay, guys, so welcome to a marathon training week for me. I'm training for Berlin and another marathon at the end of the year. I thought it'd be awesome in this week because we're in that week where the mileage starts going up to bring you along and let you know how we're getting on. Okay, so this week we're going to take you through pretty much each session, each run that we've done. Bit of a funny week because my long runs switching around this week usually i do my long run on a saturday but we've got a club event on saturday so i'll switch it out to sunday but we'll come on to that later in the week so this week's 47 miles is on the plan and we'll go through exactly each run and what we're doing next we'll head back to the studio and i'll just talk you through what the the week's got planned out stuff does change and you'll see that as we go through the week that stuff will change but yes this week 47 miles as we aim now to really start ramping up the mileage as we head into the summer break okay so let's focus on today's run first so today's run is six miles at easy pace although i am not running easy at the moment i'm running a little bit too fast i have it set up on my watch using the 40 runs performance app if you've not seen that check it out on 40runs.com but uh, yeah i've got all my runs programmed in this week and it's really awesome because it tells me basically when i'm going too fast and i find that really helpful when i'm trying to get easy miles in because i don't know about you i always tend to go a little bit faster than that when you end up in that sort of zone three you're not really achieving anything i need to work in zone two in that sort of aerobic building state keep the legs relatively fresh because we've got a lot of miles to do this week so yes it's a funny old one but i like the watch because it does tell me when i'm in that sort of target range of easy pace so yeah six miles easy run i just use this you know, see the eye over there i just literally come out of the office up to buckingham palace and back again basically nothing any nothing more exciting than that it literally is just get out get it done and off we go a few shoe geeks i'm in those the adidas ultra boost five today just a recovery shoe so that's why i'm wearing them more than anything else and i want to get some miles through them i'll keep you safe keep you posted on the shoes we're wearing this week but yeah so just them on today because it's a recovery run so i try and pick a shoe in relation to the run i'm doing the only other thing to add really is sometimes i do use the monday for a goal pace workout but because i did a higher effort yesterday i've switched it out to an easy it's the only really difference it makes but mondays is always a recovery six mile or a sort of six mile goal pace that's how i tend to use the monday okay team right i'm gonna get this run done and then i'll see you back in the studio and we'll just run through quickly what the rest of the week looks like yeah so let me see if i can share this right you're seeing it perfect okay so uh if you look here so uh we've got the easy run which i actually did six miles today which you guys know because you would have seen that uh but looking forward to what the rest of the week holds so tomorrow i've got um six miles and then three miles easy so that six miles is basically heart and where we do uh the laps so it's target pace or goal pace whatever you want to call it so that's now um 753 per mile for me uh, so five miles and that's updated since I did a race. So that's why that's come down and that was updated. Um, so this is, by the way, this is the performance app that we use. So if you're interested in coaching, you want to get faster, you've got a race or whatever. This is the app that we use, right? So it's all on here exactly what I've got to do. Um, but yeah, so I've got uh, f half of my warm up, uh, which is basically up and down through heart. And then we hit the sort of flatter section. I've got five miles at target goal pace half a mile cool down i've then got an easy run of three miles because that's club straight afterwards so i would do them back to back but that will basically give me nine miles now that's in the evening i've actually done this the wrong way around because it's just me uh, you'll see here i've done it the right way around but um and when i say here i don't think you can see on the mouse but uh, long story short i've got the cross training in there we will do that tomorrow so that will be done in the morning and then in the evening we'll do the running element um and then on uh wednesday the plan is five miles easy pace and three miles at threshold i'm not sure how i'm going to do that i may switch that uh, three miles into a hill session 
uh, because we've got club two uh, on Wednesday night with the Broxbourne guys and girls. So I may actually switch that round to a um, uh, across uh, across that training session, a hill session. So I may actually switch that. It'll still be three miles. I'll get the five miles done in the day, nice and easy. Back down London, uh, we'll take you along for both of these stuff, but we'll get that done. Uh, then switching into Thursday, I've got six miles easy. The reason I'm doing six miles easy on Thursday, usually I don't do that. If you look further down, you'll see um, other sessions that I'm doing uh, on a Thursday. Usually is different to that. It's because, like I said to you, I've got um, the Olympics, our summer games on the Saturday. So I've had to switch this week around quite a bit. Um, I may, um, and I, I was going to change this, but basically I've got uh, my high effort session. I'm going to do that on Friday. So there's no second gym session for me this week because of um, what we've got going on. So I'm going to get that done uh, really early in the morning at the at the gym on the treadmill. Uh, so that's my sort of high effort session for the week. So we've got uh, goal pace work in there on the Tuesday. Then we've got a high effort um, probably on um, Wednesday with the hills. Easy run Wednesday, a Thursday, nice, easy six miles. Then again, hitting the treadmill hard on Friday. Day off Saturday because of the Olympics. And then on Sunday, we've got the long run. So the long run's going to be basically three miles on, three miles off. If you look, I know it's a bit small, but if you look at that, we've got three miles at easy pace, 8.50 to 3 to 9.47 per mile. Then we've got three miles at um, target marathon goal pace, which is 7.53. So that basically knocks out 47 and a half miles through the week. If you look down, uh, you'll also see like the following week, I've got 50.5. 53 miles. So like I said at the start of the video, we're really getting into some of these bigger numbers now and this sort of part of the plan. We had the first part, which for me was like building. This is some of the mileage is now coming in um, and we're getting some of that goal pace thrown in there. But if, if you look a little bit further down, you'll see where um, like a normal week for me. So there's that Monday goal pace work. And then, you know, you'll see my long runs usually on a Saturday, then Sunday off. Um, and um, we try and get two gym sessions. I put one in but I try and get another one in on a um, Friday if possible. Uh, but that's sort of a floater in terms of the second gym, ses gym session. So, yes, that's uh, basically it. So that's um, the sort of plan, the running plan for the week. Let's now see what happens, see if we can get any of this done. Who knows? You know, life is life. But tomorrow we're going to the gym. So let's jump into the gym and I'll explain to you what I'm doing there before we head outside for the um, high quality sessions or the, the the marathon target pace session and then followed by club. Okay, so for gym for me, it's usually a maximum of a 45 minute session. Start off with a warm up on the bike, no resistance. And I usually do about 10 to 15 minutes on there. I then follow that up with the rower, do five minutes only on the rowing machine. I then do some plyo, um, nothing too strenuous, but I'll just use a bit of plyo um, before I get onto the sort of upper body uh, strength focused work on a, on a Tuesday. Uh, if I do a second session uh, of strength work later on in the week, that's where I'll do a little bit more focus on the legs. But basically, I just use the machines. I don't do anything um, crazy. I just use the machines and I do like, you know, three times eight of each, that kind of thing. And I just work around them. Do a bit of free weights, nothing crazy. Again, none of the work I'm doing is, is looking to put muscle on. It's literally just strengthening work. That's all I'm looking to do in the gym for me yes and that's all we do in the gym so now let's head over to Harton where we've got um, two sessions to do in the evening okay team so let's we'll get the boot open up today's club and we've got before club we've got six uh six miles with um two laps of three miles with half a mile warm-up and then basically three miles of uh well no hang on five miles at target goal pace which is 753 and then uh half mile cool down so that's the job and then we've got three miles easy at club to sort of well get up where you're going to get over that so that's what we're doing so i shall see you once we get it done actually i'll tell you what while we do before we do that there's who i'm taking out of me i've got my sun god sunglasses uh, back in the adidas uh get more miles in them so we can put a review out uh, headphones just a spare top snoot and a cat that's it so let's go ah 
done. Okay, so put that on the screen. First six miles uh, before club wasn't, I wouldn't say easy. Uh, struggling to find the pace, struggling to try and there, find that 750, 753. I was either going too fast or too slow, but I got it done. Accuracy was terrible, but I got the distance done. The legs felt tired, I can't hide that. Um, and then, so I'll put it up on the screen, and then front off from that club session. So they, I sent them off and they did a, um, basically like a time trial, 5K time trial. And I just did three miles easy and then just checked on people as I was going around and helped them out. So it's a coach session, so I was trying to do a few bits while I was out there, so hence the easy part of tonight. So yes, that's that done, but both, uh, both runs done. Um, the easy one was easier than the uh, quality session, but you know, it's meant to be uh, difficult. So yes, that's that done. Tomorrow, I may change things up. We're meant to be doing five miles easy, three miles uh, with a quality session. I think some of that's uh, like uh, tempo pace. I may change that up. My legs are feeling very heavy. Uh, which is always the key, I think, to listen to your body. So I may change that, but I'll update you tomorrow on that. So I'll see you guys now, tomorrow, probably down the embankment. Okay, team, midweek. Uh, I'm not down the embankment. <laughs> I'm at home with Broxbomb. Yeah, and the vest is out. We're getting a heat wave and it's already warm. But yes, yeah, so I have changed around today, which I kind of alluded to yesterday. So I was feeling really leggy after yesterday's run. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to take sort of morning off, lose those three miles uh, that I had planned and sort of, well, change it up. So the plan for today is five miles, but all easy. Try and get some of that life back into the legs while still getting the mileage. That's the key for me. So we'll do this club session, just getting a mile and a half beforehand, do the club session and then, as I said, sort of, move on but that's that's life people and that's what we've got to realize i don't know what week we're in but it's already at this stage where the legs start to feel heavy so that's what I, I always say about listening to your body it's really important and from experience and somebody's coming back from injury it's even more important so that's the plan midweek uh, five miles changed it up i'm gonna get it done i'll post up on the screen somewhere what we get done then i'll see you guys tomorrow Welcome to Thursday. It is warm. I'm absolutely dripping in this heat. It's about 25 degrees, but it feels a lot warmer than that. I am four and a half miles into my six mile round, and I'm quite pleased with myself today. Now, the reason I'm pleased with myself is because all morning I was like, oh, I'm only going to do three, maybe three and a half, and it doesn't matter what's the difference between 47 and 44 and all this sort of stuff. We're the sort of mind games that you play within matter for training when you are tired and feeling leggy. So I'm pleasing myself because I'm going to get this six miles done. Now, the one thing I may do, because I finish early on a Thursday. Now, this is a bit nuts and I wouldn't recommend this to anybody, but I've got on the plan tomorrow a high effort, literally 20 minutes. Well, it's five minute warm up, 20 minutes hard, five minute cool down. And I may double run that today. So then I get basically tomorrow off. So I get double rest day, back to back. Because Saturday's I'm going to be on my feet all day. I've got the 18 mile on Sunday. So I may, just may, switch it around. Finish this run off and then check back in. Find out what we did, whether we go early. So then I'll get tomorrow off or not. We'll catch that up next. But I'll put up on the screen in a sec what this run ended up being. And I'll see you guys on the next one, but I'm well pleased with myself. Okay, team, so we're going to go for it. We've got half mile warm up, two miles at seven minute miles, half mile cool down. I'll see you in about 22 minutes. Okay, overall pace for 7.53, but I wonder how long I was. Wait for you to come up on my watch. That was high, it's about 27 degrees, so I was 23 minutes and change, so a fraction slower, but I did the cool down and the warm up slower than it said on the watch, deliberately, because obviously I've been out running today, so, oh man, it's so hot out here, you wouldn't believe it, but yeah, what it's done, I earned my day off tomorrow, 
So I think I'll probably see you guys now on Sunday for our long run. Morning. Long run day. So tired. I don't think I can do this. Ben made me get up at stupid o'clock to come over at stupid o'clock to do a... He's <laughs> putting pure sport. It's like Sunday, it's seven o'clock. Most normal people in bed, and we're going to be doing 18 miles. So, this is the three mile on, three mile off today. Just so you know, look, we've got candle mint gels, I've got my sunglasses, glasses, aftershocks, salt sticks, um, and I've got some hydration mix in the front of the car as well. Uh, Safe Sky half tights, Ghost Max 2, shoe socks, and an ASICS top, which is really thin and hopefully breathable. And that's it. Um, he's probably going to ruin me today. He's got his classy sunglasses on. And I think that's about it. So we're going to get started. I'll probably die and I'll see you maybe at the end if I make it. That was tough. Hey, oh. hey, I'll tell you what the scores are. The watch has died. I oh, know it's not it's coming back on. There's 18. Ben, what did you do? 18.69. 18, 18.69 at what uh, average price? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you more importantly, what was your pace, average pace is on the fast bits? 6. 6.47, 6. 6. 6.48. 6. That's proper stuff, guys. Oh, yeah, he's going for a sub three, right? That's hardcore. Oh, boy. That's the first one. So, 18, two hours of 41 minutes. Uh, that was eight over, eight, eight, overall pace, 8.59 for me. Yeah. I'll take that. My, the first, the first two fast laps, so the first sets of three miles, were on pace. That last one, I was so leggy. I was like, started off too quick, 7.50. Felt like absolute death along the back there. Slipped out to like 8.30. I was basically holding 8.30. And then I come out of Hurricane Field. Then I got back to eight. And that was, that was tough, man. And that's the furthest I've run since my calf. Done, and that's 47 miles this week. What's your weekly mileage again? This week over 50, isn't it? About 53, yeah. That's good, guys. So here we go, people. That's a, a week of marathon training for you. Ups and downs, highs and lows, and also more important than anything else, change about. You know, I've moved a lot of stuff around this week, and it's not a normal week, that's life. Everyday runners, yeah, so we have to move stuff about. But yeah, I'm well pleased, great way to finish the week. And we've got to go again next week, so that's it, only one way to finish. Benny boy. Bye boys. We'll catch you later.